All right, guys, what's going on? My name is Louis. Today is May 26, 2020, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. Guys, I want to show you the title to this article, and I talked about this a couple of days ago. This here is an update news. Scientists are worried what's going on with Earth magnetic field. Now, the Bible does speak about this. You can find this in 2 Peter chapter 3. Um... What's happening to this planet is the magnetic field is weakening. This planet has a has a shield that protect us from, let's say, uh, the sun solar flare or asteroids or meteorites. But again, the Earth defense system is weakening. Now, it's causing shift from South Pole and the North Pole and many parts of the world. So, um... I want to read to you guys 2 Peter chapter 3, and I also want to take you straight to this one right here. Uh, let me just show you something really quick. Give me a second here. This is very important, guys. If you can, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends, families, and loved ones. So this person here said that uh, this is the Grand Solar Minimum Eddy. The electromagnetic poles flip on the sun and flip on the earth. We are in cycle 25, and it's going to get cold. Food will be hard to come by. Now, remember, the Bible says what Jesus Christ mentioned in the Gospel of Luke, there will be a uh, food shortage happening, and, of course, disease in various places. And we are seeing that right now, which is, again, uh, the event that's happening worldwide. Now, it's just the tip of it. This is the opening. So it says here, grow as much as you can. I agree 100%. People need to learn how to grow their own food. Uh, you need to start uh, 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 doing your research, um, how to grow your own food, tomato, vegetables, whatever. Um, you know, again, Home Depot have those packages of seeds. Uh, they go really cheap, and it's very important for people to start uh, learning the things of the world. You cannot rely on the world system. You have to start prepping. Um, number one, giving your life to Jesus Christ. And number two, you have to start growing your own stuff. You have to rely on yourself and pray to God that God leads you. Now, once again, this is not a fear-mongering video, but, but when God created this world, he created it not to last forever. This world will see its end. Uh, just like we, we are born... We grow up and we, again, throughout time, uh, we get older and our body changes. Well, same thing with planet Earth. Planet Earth will get older and it's going to change. So uh, grow as much as you can, always in the minimum, like the Dalton, Munder, and Wolf, and previous ones we see society break down. Comets, plagues, and empires fall. The sun is not producing sunspots. We're documented for thousands of years. I agree. Okay, so, um, and this part right here, too, is a big one. The challenge now is to understand the process in Earth, core and diving these changes. And it says here, the Earth magnetic field is known to flip the poles uh, altogether every few hundred thousand years, and we are now long overdue such a flip. This recent unexplained magnetic activity over the Atlantic may be a sign of an impending flip, but more research is needed before we can understand what's really going on with our planet and its defense system. Okay, now let's go straight to Peter. Let's go to Peter. Chapter, chapter 2, verse, uh, excuse me, uh, 2 Peter, uh, chapter 3, the day of the Lord. Now, once again, guys, I'm reading from the NIV. It's the same as the King James Version. Again, this is more of an English standard. Now, again, guys, uh, many uh, pastors and uh, Christians do read from the NIV. There's no changes. It's just an English version uh, uh, 
an English version. All right. <clears throat> so it says here, dear friends, this, this is now my second letter to you. Now, this is when Peter is warning a lot of people things to come. This is basically for the very end, the end of all things. The earth will burn. The sun will burn. Uh, it, it's just going to be to, uh, uh, towards the very end. All right, so I have written both of them as a reminder to stimulate you to wholesome thinking. I want you to recall the words spoken in the past by the holy prophets and the command given by our Lord and Savior through your apostles. Above all, you must understand that in the last days, scuffers will come, scuffing and following their own evil desires. We are seeing that right now. They will say, where is this coming? He promised. Ever since our ancestors died, everyone goes on as it has since the beginning of creation. But they deliberately forget that long ago, by God's word, the heavens came into being and the earth was formed out of water and by water. By these waters, also the world of that time was deluged and destroyed. By the same word, the presence, heavens, and earth are reserved for fire, being kept for the day of judgment and destruction of the ungodly. But do not forget this one thing, dear friends. With the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like a day. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise. As some understand slowness, instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief. The heavens will disappear with a war. The elements will be destroyed by fire, and the earth and everything done in it will be laid bare. Since everything will be destroyed in this way, what kind of people out you to be? You out to live holy and godly lives as you look forward to the day of God and speed is coming. The day will bring about the destruction of the heaven by fire and the elements will melt in the heat. But in keeping with his promise, we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth where righteous dwells. Uh, so again, guys, uh, this letter is very important. It's warning about certain things to come. Scuffers, again, you will have all these deceivers will deceive many people, and we are seeing that right now. Deceiver has come into this world, and many people calling their UFO. They're not UFO. Uh, they are fallen angels. They are demons. Uh, again, uh, many of them um, <clears throat> are in world of politics. Um, also, you have false uh, false prophets. Um, the heaven and the earth will be completely burned out. I mean, it was again, it will see its end. But there is a new earth and a new heaven uh, where only righteous will dwell. So again, it's only for the true believers, those that reject the Christ, and those deceivers and false prophets and the antichrist, the fallen angels and Satan we'll see the bottomless pit, a uh, place of torment, also known as hell. So, very important. Peter is t is wanting a lot of people to be prepared and be ready. God is a patient God, and he's given many t I mean, a lot of time to people to repent. So then, dear friends, and also, it's speaking about the world, the changes of the world, which we are seeing right now, this magnetic field, and... Slowly, things are changing. You have volcano happening, the earthquake uh, happening in various places, Yellowstone. Uh, again, the world is changing. So then, dear friends, since you are looking forward to this, make every effort to be found spotless, blameless, and at peace with him. Bear in mind that our Lord's patience means salvation, just as our dear brother Paul also wrote with the wisdom that God gave him. He writes the same way in all his letters, speaking in them of these matters. His letters contain some things that are hard to understand, which ignorant and unstable people distort, as they do the other scriptures to their own destruction. Therefore, dear friends, since you have been forewarned, 
be on your guard so that you may not be carried away by the error of the lawless and fall from your secure position, but grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Okay, so this is a very important letter, Second Peter chapter 3. We speak about, again, the destruction of this world. Now, again, this planet, this earth, has a magnetic, well, has a shield. It has a shield. This earth has, has a shield, which I believe the shield is about to be completely wiped out. This planet has uh, a, a defense system that, that it could eventually die off. And once that shield is gone, once the defense system is gone, then that's when things will start coming to the world. Uh, again, we could see solar flare. Uh, we could see asteroid impacting. Um, it just many things to come to the world. Even more deceivers can end up coming to the world. Okay, so let's see what's going on here, guys. And and, and uh, once again, share this video, give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys want to contribute, support this channel. Again, we have the PayPal link and the Patreon link in the description box. So unexplained abnormally weakening Earth magnetic field is involving and splitting in two. Warn scientists. So again, this is the second part. <clears throat> So the ESA has deployed its constellation of satellite to investigate unusual weaknesses in Earth magnetic field. It appears that the strange and normally believed to be responsible is now involving and splitting in two. The unexplained force, ref uh, excuse me, referred to as the South Atlantic and normally is an area of reduced magnetic intensity that extends from South America to Southwest Africa. Now, once again, guys, a lot of people are saying that this could be Planet X. Other people are saying that this could be the black hole, or this could be the stars, or it could be the sun, or, or anything. But the Bible speaks about how... Um, there will be signs in the sun, the stars, the moon, and the heaven. So the so they all play out together, and it's causing changes to the world. And it again, the world is seeing more earthquakes. It's seeing more storms. Uh, FEMA is warning that this year there could be a huge uh, number of hurricanes, maybe ten or fifteen hurricanes in the year 2020, with a category possibly three to four maybe five so um also a, a man has a lot to do with the changes on this planet when it comes to harp when it comes to chemtrails when it comes to pollution when it comes to uh 5g when it comes to all that it also damaged the earth defense system so this planet look god created this world perfect but then man end up destroying it. And at the very beginning, God has, you know, flooded the world and because of wickedness and all that. But at the very end, fire is going to destroy this world. And man will be part of it too, helping it destroy this planet. You know, at the same time, they are all screaming, Green New Deal, let's, again, let's save the planet. But those people that is yelling from the top of their lung, let's save the planet, are the one that's supporting 5G, harp, and all these type of stuff, and chemtrails. Okay. So now, uh, for now, the effect of this is anomaly and are restricted to technical malfunction aboard spacecraft and orbital uh, satellites. However, because Earth's magnetic field shields us from solar winds, again, <clears throat> this is very important. Earth magnetic field uh, shields us from solar winds and cosmic radiation. Uh, again, we do have a shield that protects us when it comes to these type of stuff, radiation and a, uh, a solar wind. It is is a critical part of our planetary defense system, along with our atmosphere, which protects us from daily asteroids bombardments. 
protect us from daily asteroid bombardments. So we do have a shield that protects us from the things outside the world. But it seems like that shield is about to die off. It's about to die off. So in an area stretching from Africa to South America, Earth's magnetic field is gradually weakening. Scientists are using data from ESA SWARM to improve our understanding of this area known as the South Atlantic anomaly. Let me just play this video so you guys have a understanding here. All right, not much. Okay, so the European Space Agency, ESA, used its SWARM satellite constellation to study the phenomenon earlier this month. And the latest readings from the agency data, innovation and science cluster show a second anomaly is forming off West Africa. Researchers still don't understand the risk associated with this more recent development. Once again, uh, I talked about this one. Now, over the past 200 years, Earth magnetic field has lost around 9% of its strength. Between 1970 and uh, 2020, the minimum level of strength dropped from approximately 24,000 nanotesla to 22,000. So once again, Earth magnetic field critical to all life may be in danger from leaking core. So given that the field is generated by electrical currents produced among the swirling liquid iron in the planet's outer core, um, fluctuations are normal. However, the initial South Atlantic anomaly has grown and moved westward at a pace of roughly 20 kilometers, that's 12 miles, per year, and scientists are yet to fully determine the cause. Well, once again, guys, we look, scientists are going to try to study and find an answer. They're going to spend all that time. Well, the Bible specifically gives the answer. Uh, there will be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in various places. Uh, the earth will see changes. The sun, uh, again, the sun will increase. Weather changes, uh, the warring and tossing of the sea. It just everything is going to change of this planet. Now, I believe that, you know, when it comes to the shield of the world, um, you know, I do believe that God is also that shield. God protects the planet. But once again, since the world is full of sin and wickedness, uh, God's people are following, uh, the, uh, uh, again, the wicked path. God is going to have to wake up people and say, well, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. But again, the book of Revelation does speak about his wrath and, to, and it's to wake up the wicked. Some of them will wake up. A lot of them will continue uh, walking the wicked path. They will refuse God. They would They would know that God is putting judgment on them, but they would still refuse them and say, well, we, we will walk in the wicked path. And that's their choice, their decision. God gave us free will to make right decisions. A lot of people is going to make the right decision, but there's going to be a lot more that is not going to make the right decision. Like Jesus Christ said, the road to heaven is very narrow. What's that mean? It means that a lot of people is not going to go to heaven. Uh, uh, there's going to be more people going to hell. And I hate to say that again, guys, but it is written in Bible prophecy. Jesus Christ warned that. And it hurts every time I read that part. It, it does hurt because it, it goes to tell you how how Satan deceived many people. And again, it. It's not like the devil put a gun in your head and say, hey, you better walk the wicked path. People chose that path. They know that God is real, but they just refuse not to walk the righteous path. They want to walk the wicked path. So when bad things happen, like, again, when um, sin reaches the heaven, God is going to, you know, show events. And some people going to wake up because fear Fear wakes people up. Let's say um, you are a person, uh, 
let's say and that atheists you live in california and boom there's a 7.2 earthquake and you feel the shake and everybody's screaming you're gonna wake up you're gonna have again the first thing that comes to your head is fear and then you're gonna believe in god because there's a lot of people that actually has been through that situation of earthquake and a lot of people say well you know that earthquake woke me up or let's say you know a an event like an airplane the engine uh one of the engine of uh, catches on fire you're in that plane and that plane is going down and everybody in that plane is screaming every single one of them even atheists would scream in the name of jesus christ help us and let's say that plane lands safely you best believe out of 200 people at least 50 would turn to jesus christ's path all right i know that's a low number guys but Again, like I said, the road to heaven is very narrow, meaning that a lot of people is not going to make it to heaven. God uh, God would pour his wrath on people to wake up, but a lot of people ain't going to wake up. Okay, so the new... Ah, give me a second here. Truly apologize. However, the initial South Atlantic abnormally has grown and moved westward at a pace of roughly 20 kilometers, that's 12 miles per per year and scientists are yet to fully uh, determine the cause which makes the fact that it now appears to be splitting into all the more uh in inter intergering i think that's how you pronounce it all right so the new eastern minimum of the south atlantic abnormally has appeared over the last decade and in recent years is developing Vigorously says geoph uh, geophysician um, Jer Jer Jergen Mikards of the German Research Center for Geoscience. The challenge now is to understand the process in Earth core driving these things. Uh, excuse me, these uh, changes. So indeed, Earth magnetic field is known to flip the poles altogether every few thousand years, and we are now long overdue. Such a flip. This recent unexplained magnetic activity over the Atlantic may be a sign of impending flip, but more research is needed before we can understand what's really going on with our planet and its defense system. All right. Let me read this part right here really quick. Earth magnetic field is mysteriously acting up, pushing North Pole towards Siberia. All right. So changes is happening to the world. So what is next? What is next? What's going to happen? Should we try to save the planet? Should we come together? Nations come together and save this planet? Let's keep the planet alive? Well, um, how can you save a planet where you can't even save yourself? Meaning that you can't, again, you don't give your life to Christ. You're not saving yourself. You think, again, you think, you think you're going to save this planet. Well, once again, the Bible specifically says that, uh, you know, heaven and earth will burn. There is a new heaven and a new world waiting for us where only the righteous dwelled. And that's what science, uh, NASA is doing. They're trying to look for that new planet. You know how NASA is always reporting they found a new planet, new planet, this and that, a planet similar to Earth. What the, the, again, they look, NASA is trying to look for that planet that is written in the Bible. That planet, everlasting life, that there's no ending. That's what they're looking for. They're looking for that planet, which, again, they're not going to find it because uh, the new world, uh, again, the new world that we will uh, <clears throat> uh, live in is far away from this, uh, from this whatever galaxy. It's in another time. It's in another place. So NASA again is trying their very best to find that new world where only the righteous dwell. But the Bible specifically says that there won't be no evil in that world. There won't be no nukes. There won't be no famines, no pestilence, no earthquake, none of that. This is a world that is a perfect world that Jesus Christ is going to walk and we're going to walk with him in that new world. There ain't going to be no no divided or racist stuff going on there just like in this world. So once again, guys, we are seeing this world changing. 
You cannot deny that. We are seeing the world changing. There is more fireball and meteors coming into the, uh, again, this world. And the shield of this world is basically dying. It, you know, instead of 100%, it's got to be right now at 50 or 60%. And it's quick. Uh, it's quickly dying. It's, lo- it's losing its percentage. So this planet does have a, 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 a shield that protects us against the, the, again, radiation or solar flare, meteorites and stuff like that. But one day that shield will disappear Oh, and there's going to be more deceiver coming into this world. So once again, again, guys, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, this is an update of the one that uh, I talked about a couple of days ago. You know, um, there is changing happening around the world. And also the planets, the sun, the moon, the stars, everything is changing. So uh, stars are disappearing, too. Uh, I've been doing tons of research when it comes to the stars in the heaven. A lot of them has disappeared. And, um, you know, again, it goes to tell you that Bible prophecy is is being fulfilled. The, again, in the scriptures, the Bible does speak about uh, the stars falling from the heavens. Stars are disappearing. You know, when I was growing up, you know, I, again, I loved looking at the stars when I was a young kid. There was a lot of stars. Nowadays, you barely see any stars. You barely see any stars. All right, so once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. For those of you that want to give your life to Jesus Christ, email me. My email is in the description box. And for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, P.O. Box number 2, 3432 U.S. Highway 19, Holiday, Florida, 34691. And again, guys, if you want to support this channel, you don't have to, but if you want to contribute to this channel, the links are in the description box. You guys already know that the platform has removed monetization. So uh, thank you so much for the love and support. I just want to say that thank you so much for, you know, helping this channel. Um, again, we do bring the, the news to you guys as related to Bible prophecy and help lead people to Jesus Christ's path. Me and my wife want to thank everybody so much for the love and support. Again, continue praying. Um, and, you know, again, uh, don't have fear. Christ is near. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have, e- have eternal life. John three sixteen. Thank you so much for watching, guys. God bless. Give your life to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough time. Till next time later. Peace.